lightsaber back with another video guys i wanted to do an update on avarice or avarice avarice i'm hearing a lot of people call it avarice on videos so now i'm getting I'm confusing myself even what i call it i call it avarice some people say avarice it doesn't really matter okay we know what we're talking about right but um yeah i wanted to do an update on this project and because I went back into the lobby, I know I said I wasn't going to around this stage, okay, until I ROI'd. But um, yeah, my strategy is continuously evolving and it was so tempting. Would you see like, you know, less, you know, there's such lower amounts of BNB coming into the contract. I thought, you know what, it makes sense. I will explain my thought process behind that right now, actually, right. So when you, uh, when you claim your stakes, right, when you claim your stakes, um, you claim your BNB, right? And then you can restake your Avarice tokens. I'm not sure why this is not loading up right now. But you claim your stakes and you, and then what you can do is restake your Avarice tokens. And then when you restake your Avarice tokens, you're not going to get the same amount of dividends on a daily basis as what you got, as what you were getting previously. Only because uh, you're getting diluted as each day goes by, Right? So earlier pays better, sometimes longer pays better, right? But um, yeah, as each day uh, as each day goes by, you're getting diluted because let's say for example, you know when you're in on, on day three or day five, let's say day five, right? Uh, day five was coming in with like the most B and B, right? I think it was day five. Was it day five? Let's just have a look on here. For some reason, it's loading very slowly right now. I don't know if it's my network, but uh. Uh, no, day six had the most BNB that went into this contract, right? So if you get in on day six, 3,131 BNB goes in. The BNB that comes in on day six gets split up over six days and then paid out to uh, stakers over the remaining six days, right? So uh, if you're getting in now on day 21, the BNB that comes in on day 21, that gets chopped up and split up over 21 days, which is less BNB coming into the contract, right? And, you know, th therefore, you're going to get less dividends over time, right? So the earlier you get in, the more you benefit from it. So it might be seem, seem like you're getting paid out a lot right now. However, if you're coming back in with more BNB later, first of all, you're getting much more ABC tokens than what you were getting over here because there's less coming in, right? So when you state those tokens, you're getting more of this share or more of the share that's coming in over time, right? Because not only are you going to restate your tokens that you've got, you're going to stake the new tokens that you've got on top of that. So what you were getting diluted before, you might be getting five times more uh, tokens than what you had before. Therefore, bringing your market, your dividend share back up. You might even get more or slightly, you know, slightly less. But you'll be still, you could still be getting around about the same type of dividend payout um, if the math works out correctly. Okay. Now, if you look here, I went in with 4.6 BNB, 4.66 BNB, just under 4.7 on day 19, right? I hadn't gone in for, you know, just over a week before that. Uh, but I went in on a good day, um, probably the lowest day that I got um, or, the, or the lowest day behind uh, yesterday, right? And um, I managed to get 32,544 tokens for 4.6 BNB. Right now, I actually went in with five BNB on day five, and I got four thousand six hundred and seventy-four tokens. So I got how much is that? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two. I got about eight more times worth of the tokens for even slightly less BNB. Just going on, on going in on day nineteen. So when I state those tokens, that's going to bring my share value up, right? So it makes sense. For you to take up uh, take advantage of these opportunities not only that but you know there's still all of this bnb if you think about it right day 15 day 14 day 13 all of that bnb is being split up into 15 days 14 days and spread out over the rest of these days right and then you know topped up with whatever comes in after that so from what i'm hearing you know this uh, well the developers did an AMA, one of the team members did an AMA, and they said they're going to be ramping up the marketing, they're going to have the next wave of marketing. There's still a lot of influencers that are not talking about this yet, still a lot of people that don't know what it is, okay? So there's definitely a lot of opportunity for us still being early, right? Because when the next wave of marketing and we uh, comes in and we start seeing a lot more B&B come back into the contract, right? 
which is just a natural cause of things, especially if the market starts to pick up again. Because remember, we're in a bear market, right? We've been thriving in this contract, regardless of it being a bear market. But when we're in a bull market, you'll probably see a lot more enthusiasm for this project as well. A lot more people coming in, a lot more people willing to get into BNB in the first place, put it into here. Okay, there's going to be a lot of people sitting in stable coins, sitting on the sidelines right now. So there's potential for that. There's potential for the growth. But not only that, me putting something back into the contract and um, getting a, a larger share of the AVC tokens that are on offer, right? Because, you know, remember this, this uh, the, the available AVC is going down by 0.25% every day, right? So I'm happy with that back there. And, um, you know, I'm watching the auctions and I'm considering on a daily basis whether to get in or not, right? Um, I want to wait and see what kind of dividends I'm getting from this new share or this new stake, my recent stake that I put on day 21 for 33,645 AVC because I've got some referrals. Thank you. If you use my link in the description, you also get 1% uh, bonus on top of your deposits. Okay, guys. But, um... Yeah, I mean, the dividends have been paying out good. You can see my my overall dividend balance is 42.6 BNB. Um, I have claimed around 15 BNB of that from these three states. There's 3.4 there, 6.9 there, uh, 7. So that's just over 10, 10 and a half, and then another 5 there. So I've claimed about 15 and a half BNB, and it still owes me approximately 29 uh, or 27.19 BNB at the time of recording this video, but that doesn't include my most recent stakes where I haven't received any dividends yet. But um, as each day goes by, this is going to fill up more. And this is my biggest stake yet, right? Before that, my biggest stake was the um, where is it? It was I went in with 11 BNB, okay? And as well, let's do another comparison. So, me going in with 11 BNB over here on day nine. I got only 15,000 tokens. I've gone in with 4.6 BNB now. Uh, sorry, just the other day. 4.6 BNB. Um, it's not showing up. Let's just uh, refresh that. I went in with 4.6 BNB here and got three times more. Where is it? I got three times more. No, sorry. I got two twice more than what I got for half the money. All right, guys. Less than half. All right, less than half the amount of BNB. So, you know, it just goes to show, right? Uh, having a strategy <laughs> doesn't mean anything sometimes because your strategy can evolve, especially uh, when you just monitor like the, you know, the performance of the platform. A lot of this is people's behavior, right? This is all information right here is people's behavior. And you just got to basically sometimes like just kind of, you know, uh, go against the grain, um, you know, be a contrarian, Okay, guys, and uh, it is a gamble at the end of the day. You never know. You know, this thing could just bleed out. You know, lots of withdrawals start coming out. Because remember, you know, me staking for like 10 days on some stakes, um, seven, like 14 days on some stakes and stuff like that. Some people are going to be doing longer stakes from the get-go. I know a lot of people are doing 30-day stakes, right? So once the 30-day mark comes, you'll probably see a lot more BNB coming out of the contract, um, especially with less BNB going into the contract right now. But, um, yeah, I think the strategy from the team right now is to encourage people to go in with more BNB, okay? Only because if you just claim your rewards and then restate your tokens, you know, you're going to miss some of those dividends uh, because your your share of the dividends is going to be diluted. So, it all depends whether people, you know, want to continue to receive dividends. Who wouldn't want to continue to receive dividend, dividends, right? So, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update on this project, this platform, um, today looks pretty low. Of course, the day's not over yet. Um, still, people are waiting to snipe. I've been watching this, and you know it will start off low, and then when you get to the last five minutes, um, you'll see a lot of BNB coming flooding in. I remember I was gonna, I was gonna get a lot more than this up until the last minute, and people started chucking BNB into the thing, and I ended up getting thirty-two thousand. I was hoping to get over fifty thousand at the time. But, um, you know, still happy with that bag. It's a lot more than what I've got over here. And, um, yeah, we'll see what the dividends look like when this comes rolling in. Haven't calculated how much we're getting on a daily basis now. I believe around the beginning it was 10% plus. But, uh, yeah, right now, um, not sure what it is. But I know that the dividends are going to be looking good. And remember, um, you know, me going in with, uh, I mean, I didn't necessarily collect a stake and then 
um, put the B&B back in. I basically put a b and in because I knew I was, I was expecting around the same amount of B&B from this collection the following day. So I went in with about 4.6 B&B. The following day, I collected this one. I got 5 B&B back. So I didn't really miss the B&B, right? As soon as it went out, it came back in the following day. Um, so yeah, all in all, I haven't fully ROI'd because I haven't realised those gains. But um, the contract owes me about 27 BNB at the time of recording this video. And um, you know, I've already got 10 plus out uh, minus what I put back in. So, um, yeah, happy with this um, at the moment. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes continuing forward. Hopefully, the marketing will come back in. And I will benefit hugely from this deposit right here as the BNB starts to increase. Um, if that happens, all right, there's no guarantee that's going to be the case. But um, the team seemed pretty confident in their strategy. So let's see how it goes, guys. Just wanted to give you that update. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Tick the little bell for notifications. Um, and I will see you guys in the very next video.